In this tutorial, we will learn how to draw a conventional spring using the coil command. So I have opened up a new part and I will start a 2D sketch. We can select any plane here. In this demonstration, I will choose the XY plane. And first we'll start by drawing a vertical line about the origin. We can draw this at any height. So I'm gonna input 10 millimeters. And this line just represents the axis of the spring. We'll then draw a circle to the right of the origin. This will be 15 millimeters. I'm gonna put a horizontal constraint between the center point of the circle and the origin like so. And then go to dimension between the origin and the center point at a distance of 50 millimeters. We'll then go onto the 3D model tab and we'll select the coil command. And here we have our dialog box. So our profile has already been selected, which is the circle here, that's correct. And for the axis, we'll then select our 10 millimeter vertical line here. We can see a preview of how the spring will be. Under behavior, we can select the variables we wish to input. So for example, the pitch and revolution, revolution and height, or the pitch and height. For this demonstration, we'll select the revolution and height. So in the revolutions, we'll input six revolutions, and for height, we'll input 200 millimeters. We then have the option to add a taper if we want. So for example, if I enter 15 here, we can see a 15 degree taper like so, but a conventional spring will not have a taper. And the re uh, rotation, sorry, we can add either a left hand or right hand rotation. Let's stay with the left hand rotation. And then if we click OK, we can then see our conventional spring like so. And if we look at that from the right view, we can see that the top and the bottom of the spring do not have flats. So this is not common in a spring. So to enter these, we can right click on the coil feature and select edit feature and add in a close start and also a close end. And we can input the variables here, flat angle and transition angle. So I'll input both 135 degrees for the flat angles and 50 degrees for the transition angles. And we'll select okay. And here we can see flats on both the top and the bottom of the spring, which is more representative how the spring will come into contact with the top and bottom plates. But that concludes how we draw a conventional spring using the coil command. I will see you in the next tutorial.